Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to the channel. As you see by the title, we're talking about the Vikings center right guard combination, Mason Cole and Garrett Bradbury. Garrett Bradbury, Mason Cole, two of the guys on this channel had, if you guys been following me for a while, I think have been terrible this year. However, the last two games, they've actually been phenomenal. They have been way better than advertised recently, and I understand it's a small sample size, but we're going to be hopping into some film, kind of understanding where they have been successful and why, you know, Garrett Bradbury and Mason Cole, they're not the biggest guys in the world compared to other offensive linemen. They've still been getting it done. So we're going to be hopping in, seeing how they've been doing it, and understanding that it is a small sample size. But since Bradbury's returned from COVID, he has been the second best graded PFF offensive interior lineman out of 70. He has been number two overall, and Mason Cole has been 11th. This is in the entire league. There are 70 interior offensive linemen that were graded, and Bradbury was second, and Mason Cole was 11th. So we're going to hop in here, really try to figure this out, because it's tough for linemen to really stand out. You know what I mean? Like we can get in here and we can talk about, you know, Justin Jefferson. You know, it's kind of easy to see a receiver if he is very talented or if he's not very talented. Same thing with a quarterback. However, offensive linemen, it is tricky. So I'm going to try to break this down easiest as possible for us. Garrett Cole, Gar or Garrett Cole, Garrett Bradbury, Mason Cole film breakdown right now. Okay, so up in the film room, this is a play from, I think, the third third quarter and it was an incomplete pass this was cousins drop back uh, against the Steelers from this Thursday night and I think this does a good job to kind of start off what Garrett Cole I, I keep seeing Garrett Cole Garrett Bradbury and Mason Cole have really been about since they have returned as you see here Steelers they're almost running like some sort of twist concept with them right here in the middle of the screen as you see that kind of turn off right here uh, if you look at Ezra he has a guy lined up right on top of him. I think that's Cam Hayward. And then 57's lined up right on top of Mason Cole. So Bradbury has nobody in front of him. And these two are going to twist. The two linemen for the Steelers are going to twist and make it complicated for the Vikings to pick it up. Garrett Cole, I mean, Garrett, if I say that one more time, I swear to heavens. Garrett Bradbury and Mason Cole do a great job of picking this up, however. Bradbury actually gets beat a little bit to the inside. He, I mean, as you see here, he kind of shreds uh Mason or he shreds Bradbury gets to Mason Cole and Mason Cole does a great job with helping out here and then the layoff with the blitzer coming Bradbury disengages and gives Cousins a really clean pocket to step up and make a throw Cousins again he had the check down right in front of him just threw it to JJ I thought it was a good ball but this was a great example of the line really doing a good job on some sort of blitz twist concept and this was the interior line this is their weakness this is cam hayward this is any a veteran in the league who is very good they run the twist they handle it absolutely perfectly and this is kind of the example of why mason cole and garrett bradbury have been dominant the past two weeks okay, so this is an example of them just winning one-on-ones which is huge in the red zone which is where the vikings are on this play uh, in the red zone, you know, they say football is a game of inches. Well, in the red zone, it's a game of centimeters. So the Steelers see here, they got five offensive or defensive linemen flat on the line of scrimmage. All four are going to come when 98 is going to drop out in the coverage and pick up on Madison. And on the left side of the offensive line, these three are all in one-on-ones. And then with a double team on Cam Hayward over here. So here's the rep. Bradbury gets pushed back a little bit, but he actually does a good job of setting his feet and ends up winning the rep if we're just focused on Bradbury on this play I thought this was I mean I thought this was great this shows tenacity out of him which is something I haven't really seen all season or his whole career he gets beat he's already pushed off two yards on the line of scrimmage sets his feet again pushes him could be called as a hold if he would have got under a little bit but that's a great rep moving on to Mason Cole right here going against 92 Talk about putting your feet in the ground, getting good pad leverage, and just maintaining where you are. He just is a brick wall right here. Cousins has honestly all the room to step up and run, but we know he does not like to do that. Ends up making a throw. Huge play. Ends up being dropped or pass interference. But here's something funny I want. I mean, I don't know why we're... I saw this on the play, but everybody watch... Uh, or also, hold on. Shout out to Brian O'Neill real quick. Look at that guy up top. No chance for Bud Dupree to get in here. But watch Ole Uda on this on this play. Actually, it is pretty. It is pretty funny. So Ole thinks 98's coming. Obviously he's not. So then Ole tries to get back in here. He throws some like. I, I mean that's almost a block in the back on Cam Hayward, 
And then he's just kind of running around. I just thought it was a funny clip of Ole. But here, great example of Garrett Bradbury, Mason Cole, just winning their one-on-ones. Okay, this is the last clip I'm going to show you guys because this is just effing awesome. I mean, this is just an example of Garrett Cole. I mean, I've said that five times. Garrett Bradbury, Mason Cole, just moving people. And you know all those big holes we were seeing on the broadcast uh, last Thursday night of uh, Dalvin Cook's running lanes. And even Aikman was saying I could run through those. This is a perfect example of this. So this is going to be... Um, uh, who is that? Brian O'Neill and Mason Cole are going to start on 92, and then Mason Cole is going to work up the 93, and then Bradbury's doubling down on Cam Hayward, pretty much just moving him out of the way. And this is just an example of, I mean, this is this is awesome. Like, this is really, really good. Devin Bush really over pursuits right here, 55 for the Steelers, so it makes it a lot easier. And then 93, the other linebacker for the Steelers, just gets kind of sucked up in this action over here. And then Mason Cole does a really good job of getting off and getting up the 93, which he does. I mean, that is, I mean, that's, I mean, look at this hole right here. And Dalvin kind of, he over pursues it a little bit, but then he's able to cut it back. But I mean, this is about, this is almost hash mark the hash mark of running room. And I mean, it's, I mean, it's phenomenal. I mean, there's really no breakdown I need to give you besides them just moving people. Cam Hayward, double team, move him out of the way. Look at Bradbury right there. Just completely turn him around, get him not even in the play. And then Mason Cole just absolutely throwing 93 back when he's moving. Look at that hit. Do that again. Watch this right here. Look at 93 just go back on his feet. I mean, God, I'm going to play that again. Back on his feet. This is, this is what the Vikings need. If the Vikings want to win and make a run this year, this is the this is what we need from Mason Cole and Garrett Bradbury. You know, we have Aaron Donald coming up. We have Kenny Clark again. We have Akeem Hicks two times. There's some really good nose tackles for the last, I mean, pretty much the last four games are going against a Pro Bowl or all pro nose tackle in all of them. This is just an example of what they need to do. And I thought they've been playing phenomenal lately. You know, I was kind of second guessing if the, if the hype around the interior offensive line was true. And it completely is. Great game for Mason Cole, Garrett Bradbury. They've been dominating the last two weeks. Let's see if they can keep it up. See you guys next time. Skull Vikes.